Let's fucking go. How does it feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump? Ah! Ah! Oh no! What a funny joke! Same sex as Donald Trump. Ha! Ah! ah. You should have said Hitler. That would have been better. Ah oh, shit, I'm this, you know, I'm the same sex as Albert Einstein too. Sorry girls, better luck next time. Why do you hate rom-coms? Or do you just feel like you need to hate them? Everybody likes The Notebook, everybody likes Beyonce. Fuck Beyonce. Fact. Why do you make women sit around and talk about men in movies when y'all easily just sit around and talk about boobs for hours? Why do you? I don't know about hours. I don't know about that. Why do you automatically assume that you won't like TV or movies that star a female lead? Why are you surprised? With Who the fuck says that? There's been a handful of fantastic movies with a female lead. I highly doubt most guys, which is ironic because they talk about guys always drool over girls on screens, but now they say, why do you reject the fact that it's a f if it's a female lead? Fuck you. Why are you surprised when women are funny? I'm probably funnier than you. No, you're not. Why do you think that we're obsessed with you when we hook up? Nine times out of ten, I just want you to leave too. I'm busy, I got shit to do. Why yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Why can't I sleep with as many people as I want to without being judged? When men do it, they're congratulated. Why? See, I'm, I'm not gonna even stoop to that. I'm not gonna stoop to that double standard that's just fucking fishing for an argument because BuzzFeed fucking feminists, they're really the worst. And I don't give a fuck what anyone says. The day I see a good example of a BuzzFeed extreme feminist, I'll say, you know what? Props to this girl. That's exactly how it should be because there's some parts where it's like, you realize that we're two different genders, certain things, it's okay to be different in. Go ahead, stereotype about me being a guy. Tell me that I'm smellier and fart more and whatever the fuck you could say. I don't give a shit. I know where that stereotype comes from. And let's just say I'm the exception. Even if I'm the exception, but I realize where the stereotype comes from, I'm still gonna be comfortable. I'm still gonna be like, I mean, it makes sense where it came from. Am I the exception? Let's just say, yes. Do I care to argue about someone and be like, oh, oh, I'm the exception. I actually shower every day. I shower every, every day and I actually don't fart. So honestly, you're being sexist saying guys are always smelly and guys fart more than girls. Okay, that's just sexist. That's exactly what happens. On the opposite end, if I stereotype something about a, a girl, even if let's just say they're the exception, they can't take it. They can't handle it. They gotta prove a point where it's like, because I'm the exception, you can't say that even though generally, you know, the stereotype exists for a reason, you still can't say that. So I'm not even gonna go into the fact about the differences between guys having sex and girls having sex. I think it's fairly fucking obvious since it's girls more so being treated like shit with guys, you know, using them and that whole shit. I'm not even gonna get fucking into it. Why do you consider a woman a tease if she doesn't sleep with you after three dates, but a slut if she sleeps with you on the first date? In what world? Okay. Uh, no girl should sleep with someone the first fucking day. No guy should sleep with someone. Uh, you know, that generally is just a stupid thing and it really shouldn't be done. But when do I consider a girl a tease if she doesn't sleep with me or send me news the third day? I admire women with a little bit more self-respect and a better brain in their head to be like, first of all, we really need to know this person. And I mean know them well, not the bullshit they give me the first fucking three dates. World does no mean yes. No means no. Why do you say that? Okay, probably the greatest part about this fucking video. Some guys can't take no for an answer. I get that. Why do you say that women are too emotional to be leaders? Then justify catcalling by saying men just can't control themselves. Why, why do you think? Justify catcalling? That just because you're nice to me, I owe you my body. Why would you ever send an unsolicited dick pic? If you're a guy and you send a dick pic out of nowhere, you're fucking stupid. I don't care. Why do you feel like it's okay to harass women or make offensive comments about- I'm, st I'm stopping right there. Why do you feel like it's okay to harass women and make offensive comments about women, but when somebody does it to your sister, it's not okay? Because 
why is it okay to be offensive and harass women, but it's not okay if it's done to your si See, that's, that's just fucking stupid. If you're a guy and you harass women and you sexually assault them and stuff, you're the fucking problem. She's saying it like every guy is like this. Is it a problem in our world? Yes. How does it feel to interrupt me when I'm in the middle of making a point during a meeting? Why do you have to say- Interrupt you, uh, making a point, you know, now that just sounds like a fucking scene from a movie. I can't take this, I don't want to watch anymore. I really don't want to watch anymore because the opposite could be said about everything they're saying. Buzzfeed is misrepresenting women, at least the women who have their heads fucking screwed on right. Don't come to me and ever fucking tell me that the feminism movement from BuzzFeed and all this shit really impacts society. It actually impacts society negatively because they're blinded, they're blindly led, maybe even younger girls too, younger guys, people who are easily influenced, whatever the case may be. It's almost like if I made a video saying, why am I supposed to act like a gentleman all the time? Here's a good example of me making a video that's 36 questions men have for women. And I'm gonna use the exact same style, stupid points these fucking morons make. I'd sit here and go, why do you girls expect me to act like a gentleman all the time when you girls can act like cute little puppies every other time? Why am I always supposed to act tough and manly, and if I show a little bit of emotion or cry, I'm weak now, but when you watch it in movies, oh, the guy's emotional and you love it. Yeah, you see how that fucking works? Why do you always assume that I should open my car door for you or pull up a chair for you to sit when you've never put the toilet seat up for me? That right there, that's exactly the problem of fucking BuzzFeed. Those are the exact same points flipped as this video if men asked these questions. It's fucking stupid. Nobody would realistically do it because I'd address the questions I just said the same exact fucking way. That it's stupid. Why is it every time we go out on a date, I'm always supposed to pay? Yet the one time that you do pay, you complain about it. When, ironically, girls still fight for being independent. Why do I have to go shopping with you for four fucking hours as you roam around the mall and be totally fine and patient, but when I want to go to an electronics store or work on my car, you girls get impatient the first five minutes. Yeah, how does it feel? How does it feel to have it flipped around, fucking morons?